Alright there, ladies and gentlemen. After much careful deliberation over the Choose the Next Let's Play video, I have decided on a sort of two-part plan for based off the suggestions that I have received. As you can see, I am choosing to do more Dynasty Warriors 3 Let's Play, but after I do this, I'm going to do, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two entire campaigns based off the two character suggestions made by Royal Sniper 2000 and Heteng. So we're going to start with Royal Sniper 2000's character suggestion, Home Guy from Woo. Well, let's see what he brings to the table, shall we? Oh, the El Turban Rebellion. There are a bunch of people chanting the way of peace, but not very peaceful these guys, are they? We are the way of peace! Die! <laughs> so, once again, shoo. That's us this time, home guy. It's finally time. Yes. It's finally time we started moving this damn thing. Instead of being docked. And there's Well way, obviously. <laughs> the rats are gathering. <laughs> Don't be so hasty. They're not rats, they're what bunch of vermin. Now nah, I'm sorry, I couldn't think of a joke for that. <laughs> not this time anyway. So, a very familiar looking cutscene to open with. And once again, so I make this perfectly clear, I want to thank Royal Sniper 2000 for this suggestion. There was actually a pretty close call between this and Dark Alliance. So what I'm going to do, as I probably started explaining before, is I'm going to do this campaign for Hungai and one other, and then I'm going to start playing Dark Alliance as well after that. I don't think the instruction will be any different, but we'll take a peek. In the spring of the year 184, Led by their leader Zhang Zhao, followers of the religious group. Oh yeah, so I think it's the same stuff, basically. Doesn't really change much at this point. Their actions fueled by discontent with the decadent and corrupt. I'll just do a sort of skim over. This uprising became known as the sake of anyone who might be watching this afresh, perhaps. But I will be skipping anything that's familiar to this point. No boundaries, instantly spreading throughout the plains of central China. The beleaguered Han sent out a call for help across the land to organize a campaign against the Yellow Turbans. With hopes of You'll probably be seeing the Yellow Turban Rebellion quite a fair bit, actually. Some people do skip it, and some people don't have it at the very first mission, but this is a very common mission in the game for a lot of characters. So I'm talking over that because I've seen it before, so... As usual, our cowardly He Jin hides in the castle with his buddies. There's Shu's Wu Bei. There's us under Sun Jian. Let's see if we can actually create some good luck for Sun Jian this time and not get wiped out <laughs> the first uh, like 15 minutes or something. There's Cao Cao and Sa Hu Dun. Sa Hu Wan. And some other guys. And there's Sang Jiao, Sang Liang, Sang Blah blah blah. Don't care about those guys. Obviously, conditions. Same as before. Pretty much don't let the guy in the castle be defeated. And heal Sang Jiao. Hang on a second. Oh. Huh. Well, I guess Sang Jiao is starting near way for now. Well, that's good, he's nowhere near us. Alright, so, our weapon for Hung Guy is an iron rod. I actually thought it was a club, but it actually isn't. He uses a club in later Dynasty games, but in the 3 to 5, he uses an iron whip. Or an iron rod sort of thing. Otherwise, attack, defense, bow defense, luck, and I guess bow attack as well. What the heck? 29, wow, that's quite high. Hopefully we'll get some good items. And bodyguards. Ah, we have to start from the beginning again with the bodyguards. Each character has their own bodyguard rankings as well as their own general class rankings. So we're going to have to start with privates again. So, back to having useless bodyguards. Hooray! And let's start this. <laughs> Yellow Turban Rebellion. 
part two. Go! No, no, no. I'm still convinced they're running straight a brick wall there, and we'll probably suffer head injury of some description. There he is, Hungai. Now he's very different to Sahundu, our last character. Hungai, for one thing, is kind of more a short range character. I didn't actually play him that much when I used to own the game, because I wasn't that impressed with his character, but. Well, I'll have to be impressed now, so let's just check out what he's got. Yeah, very short range, not really sort of like Zahundu, no, the fair amount of range with his attacks. But maybe he's a bit stronger, who knows? We'll, we'll see his advantage in time. So let's check out his uh, first combo, square then. Is he actually. <laughs> just with some more his other hand. Get out of my way! Let's check out his second attack. <laughs> he just gives him a kick. I shall kick you in the face. I'm not going to use my weapon. I'm just going to kick people. Martial arts expert. Huh. One, two, three, triangle. You flaming idiots! Take this! He just woke up on the wrong side of the bed, I think. He's not really part of the belly. He just woke up on the wrong side of the bed and said, Ah, fuck you, I'm going to drop boulders on him. So let's check out his third attack. Not too bad actually, it's a bit short range-ish, but it does its job as you'd expect from the third attack in the game. More or less. And let's check out his Muzu. Yeah, his Muzu's not that bad. Again, the thing, the major thing I'm going to have to get used to on uh, Hoongai is that, unlike Sahundun, he doesn't have much range of his attacks, so... We're going to have to um, get a little closer to enemies. We've got to have like, the range of some of the other characters' weapons. I defeated an officer. I defeated an officer. Sure did, buddy. Bam! But at least we'll get some new missions with this guy, which is always useful. Get me a licks in, are you, Mr. General? We'll make you pay for that. Taste my iron rod, which I am using... That being said, if this is meant to be a whip, I've not seen the whip come out once. He's using it more like a club. <laughs> no wonder I'm getting confused. He really is using it like a club. Oh, this is a very strange way of using a whip. I'm thinking more like Ivy's whip from Soul Calibur 2 when I think of a whip. Or anything but this. It's definitely an iron rod. But that's what the, um, the Dynasty Warriors 3 Hawaii Wiki says? Supposed to be a whip, apparently. <laughs> you come to your own conclusions. I think it's an iron. I think it's a quarter or some description. As you do. Alright, so. As I'm sort of beating up the turbans here, I'll just talk about a couple of the responses that I received in that Choose Your Let's Play. And I did read all of them, and I have given it a couple of days, but I think it's reached its peak now. With 121 subscribers, which is pretty good. Zangli on. Muzu in to death. It's a gate captain. Uh oh. Useless. Useless. <laughs> um, why are you complaining about your staff, dude? Oh shit! Some jails come to attack us from behind. That bastard. He's supposed to be on your way. Now he's come to annoy us. Useless! Useless! Why is this staff so useless? <laughs> Gotta love the voice acting in this game, it's so good. <laughs> That's what makes the game good. Cheesy as fuck voice acting. There's also like an original Japanese... Not Chinese, Japanese uh, voice acting you do for some of these games, but... I prefer the English ones. Bit of cheese, never hurt anyone. Get his licks in. Oh, that's how it's gonna be, is it? Fine. Taste this. Anyway, getting back to the comments on the uh, video. Uh, well, I saw a fair amount of interesting suggestions on there. I saw one for Thief, the Dark Project, which I would like to play at some point, actually, but perhaps on Dope Libs and not on here. But we'll see. Wait a minute. Oh no. Just before he died, Zhang Ryong got back up and made the river into ice again. Cheating bastard. We must fight well. 
And yeah, this is the guy. I actually said Sang Jiao in the original video, did it? But it is clearly Sang Ryong. <laughs> Sometimes Sweep needs to pay attention to things. Oh, well, Sang Ryong's force has been destroyed, so that's Wu in the clear, more or less. Now let's go take her Sang Jiao, shall we? As <laughs> the game very slowly updates to remind us, yes, he has frozen with magic, or whatever. So as, as I was saying, I saw quite a fair amount of comments on the uh, Let's Play, which is good to see that a lot of you want to see different kinds of things. The heart is dead. Long live the yellow dragon. Useless stuff. Maybe. So it's nice that you've got a wide variety of things you want to see. Uh, also, someone for Metro 2033, and I'm dying. Ow. Oh, thank you. This unacceptable behavior. Oh, it's fucking guards again. It's always the guards. Super Muzu time. I'm going to bash you up. Taste my flaming Super Muzu. Let's be careful here. These guards are being more of a pain than this guy is. Once again. Ah! And dang, you stole my kill. Son of a bitch. When all else fails, attack! You all saw that. He stole my kill. Just because I was being defensive does not mean you can come in and kill him for me. Oh well, at least he got him out of the way. No worries. Bam! In the face. What <laughs> if I just kick him? Got this cool weapon, but nope, sub that. I am going to kick them in the face. Unconditionally. Oh, and here comes the reinforcements again. As you do. So, anyway, now I've got a bit of time to actually talk about the... <laughs> keep getting distracted by interesting uh, battle actions. Um, so, yeah, I saw a nice variety of responses, like... Also including Undying, uh, Metro 2033, and... One of you suggested the Doom one, that would be Snicker Speed. And it's nice to see this a nice variety, but I did want you to keep in mind that more than likely if it's a horror game, like you suggested Metro 2033 or someone said do a Half-Life 1 horror mod, I would be doing that on Dope Lives, which as I said is still my main focus, even though I've been doing quite a lot of this lately, admittingly. But my main focus is still Dope Lives, and Bozang, come here! But, don't let, that, don't let that put you off from making the suggestions in the first place. There will be some things that I would be happy to do on here. Oh no, Cal Hong is getting scattered! There are some things I'll be happy to do on here. Get an item, that's good. We don't need that. We better go help Wei! It's like Zhang Men Sheng is being a prick. We better be careful though, we are well on help. <laughs> Need a lot of super movies. Ah, come here, Zhang Man Shang. Stop chasing Zahu One. Come after me. I said, come here. Ugh. There we go. No, it's not going to be the end, Cow Cow. Not this time. Oh no. That's why they were retreating. Cow Cow has been defeated. This is what happens when I'm not around. I go five seconds, pick a different character, and Cow Cow can't even handle one guy. How pathetic. You bunch of pussies! Honestly, cow cow. Making you're making me look bad. Well, you're making yourself look bad, really. No, 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 no! Get the fuck off! Oh great, and now he's powering up. Yay! That's not a good Oh I could help. Phew! This guy's pretty tough, or rather his buddies are. BAM! Oh, I do like how his four attacks just straight for knock the victim into place. That was sort of knock him away. That's pretty good. Yeah, there's your short range coming to play. I think if I'd played at Zahu and didn't have hit Zhang Man Chen. Oh well. It always seems like when I do Damn it, Sun Jian. It always seems like whenever I do this mission, one of the frigging three guys has to fail miserably. At least Sun Jian pulled up a fight. Cow Cow just bowed down to some reinforcements. Kinda sad, really. Oh no, the bodyguards have died. Oh no! 
Whatever will we do? Stand strong until reinforcements come. They're coming, buddy. Just relax. Ah, damn you! One use getting his ass kicked. What's going on? I thought I'm doing. I thought I was doing well in this mission. Seems to be not the case. Oh boy, this mission's going from bad to worse. She will be fucking going down next. That's all we need. So we're even worse than last time. I don't know how that could be possible, but guess it is. Bam! Take that. Let's get rid of this guy then. Get some morale back before we lose too many officers on our team. This guy's pretty easy. As I said last time. Get his attack bonus. And I think we need to go and help uh, Shu by the looks of it. Shu seems having a bit of a tough time. So let's go assist them quickly. So what I was saying, uh, don't be afraid to make comments, but do keep in mind that if it's something like a horror game, there's more than likely the chance that I will be playing it on dope lives. And of course, if I don't have the game, I'm not going to be able to play it. So in the case of like Mafia 2 and Undying, I don't have the games. And I can't really be going around buying new ones at the moment too much due to my current employment position. So... Too far out. Well, unfortunately, you guys are getting knocked off faster than ever. I can't believe the rate these guys are dropping. We lost Sinji on last time. You didn't want to do that, Sagbell. You did not want to do that. You did not want to do that, did you? No. See? Now you're dead. Get off of me. Get off of me. I'm not touching you, scumbags. It's like we may they yet survive. That's it, knock him away. Oh, even though we've bait fell. Great, so of all the three factions, only Wu's left. Wu Bei got defeated, and so did Cow Cow or Sao Sao. But they pronounce it Cow Cow in this one, so he's, going, he's getting called Cow Cow. Got the way of it. That's some help over there. Yeah, Gao Sheng's pulling back. Good. Man, we've actually managed to somehow make this mission work harder than it actually really is. <laughs> it's quite an accomplishment. Alright, I'm going to take a breather here, and we'll be right back.